right hand side is executor so let's talk about so i'm going to talk about here today architecture and then key component then execution model then best practice and real world example so basically what is a spark this is already i gone through my the previous lecture and if you want more details i can attach here link so Spark is nothing but basically it's a framework for big data data processing and it's helped a massive uh, amount of data and splitting work across the many computer. Computer is called a cluster. So number of computers called a cluster and coordinate tasks to get result efficiently. So basically this is a cluster manager basically what to do track and manage the resource CPU and memory example yarn muscles and Spark standalone. And the Spark driver process is run the main program, manage the task and assign work executor. And executor process uh, perform the computation, report the progress back to driver. And mode is the cluster mode, local modes. So example, think about your laptop or desktop computer. It's a great to everybody task, but it's a struggle with the huge amount of data. So when you do your laptop, let's say you open very small excel sheet it can be run very 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 fast but if it has millions of record it will be stuck so cluster solve this problem by using multiple machines machine is nothing so nodes right this is multiple machines okay so sir so this is how actually we divided and however the having group of machines not enough we need a framework and this is framework like apache spark to manage assigned to these machines and they are work together seamlessly and that's why this is called a spark like components is here cluster manager spark application modes so cluster manager what is like cluster manager basically cluster group of uh, nodes and now group of nodes need to communicate each other and there is uh, various ways like uh, yarn, vessels, and Spark standalone that track and manage resource CPU, memory, and across the cluster. So if you talk about your computer, you have CPU, you have memory, and across the cluster. Spark application, this is program that Spark will run. It consists of driver process, right? The Spark application. So driver is from where you submit a application or submit the program brain of application that run the main program manage task and assign so basically what it, it is like your brain it will go to your informations and it will go to different different uh, assign work to executor so executor is this carry out the actual computation will report progress back to driver and mode as i said the cluster mode local mode how does spark work let's talk about uh, how it work right so think about driver process start running and submit task to cluster manager and cluster manage uh, allocate the resource to executor and process on the machine executor do the actual work and the result sent back to drivers right so this is to executor spark uh, session will create a python process run r process will run so on right spark uh useful so it's a multi-language support it support r it support python it support java it support i uh, scala efficient resource use spark coordinate work across a cluster is scalable and efficient flexible deployment works on the cluster for distributed computed okay efficient resource use multi-language support for example running uh, spark application so for example here we are reading example dot tag so First, we, we import and then we spark grading session, then load text file, then process data, and then display result, and then they stop the spark session. So, think about this one. And this is your spreadsheets on the single machine and table of data frame partition across the several machines. So, it's faster distributed manner. Spark language, as I said, it works Scala, it works Python, it works Java, it works SQL, R, many things. The Spark concept, entry point is Spark perform, provided access to API and manage the Spark applications. And this is how we write the syntax for Spark creating Spark session. It is Scala and Python data frame. Uh, so data frame is a distributed table, row and column is unlike single machine data frame Python R and Spark data frame is distributed across the cluster, allowing the massive scalability. Creating data frame is just simple spark.range.2df. In Python, spark.range.2df is similar. And now 
And there is two type of transformation. Transformation is nothing but data transfer or uh, transfer across the nodes. So if there is no data transfer, like single to single or not go to another uh, nodes, single same nodes, narrow transformation is called a narrow transformation. And now wide transformation like uh, data distributed across various nodes is a wide transformation. And action is nothing, it's like computation or written result like found legible. And this is very, very important property of Spark. You know, so Spark, what it's do? Spark optimized transform by wasting until the action is triggered. So until and unless action is triggered, Spark will Spark code will not, you know, run or compute, or it will just create a tag or plan. And partition, partition is very important part of the big data. So Spark split data into partition, which each partition is stored on. One cluster or node partition, partition enable parallelism, but it should tune the based on the cluster size. Okay, analyzing the real world problems. Let's analyze flight data CSV for explore the Spark capability. So we read, read narrow data frame and then sort data frame and take in the array. This is the reading, sorting and collection of data from read. So if you read Spark dot read dot option, enter schema equal to true, option header equal to true. Similarly, we in do Python inspect. So we read, we sort, we take partition, number of partitions, simply sort data like sort. And SQL also we do read file, data frame, group by, uh, sum, rename, sort, limit, collect. This is how we do. This is SQL query also we can run in the Spark equivalent to data frames. I usually write SQL but you guys can so spark ui when it's run we can see so the first level is jobs is jobs display the list of job in your application track the uh, status like active completed fail stage is the next level of job so each is, uh, jobs is divided into multiple stage based on narrow and wide uh, dependency and so the date direct as cyclic graph transformation and now stage again have a task so break down the each stage into tasks, which is the smallest unit of execution. Detail likes time taken, executed details, suffers, read, write. Environment displays for configuration setting, including driver, executor memory, environment variables, and so on. Storage provide information about RDD, data frames, and cache memory in this useful debugging techniques. So this is job, this is stage task, which I talk, which you can go in detail. So key takeaway, so you learn about the Spark architecture, you learn about how it runs, uh, you learn about narrow and wide transformation, right? And this is the program. For more details, I have previous uh, lecture, which I talk about it, like what is a Spark? You can, you guys can go from this. So please like and subscribe my channel.